Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to connect your Zapier and Attach account so you can automate a lot of the things you do in Attach and send your information anywhere you want. Firstly, go to zapier.com and create a new account or log in if you already have one. Here's one I created earlier. Then what you'll need to do is, because Attach is invite only now on Zapier, you'll need to access this link that I will send to you here, <clears throat> which will activate attach on your Zapier account. Accept and invite this attach in. Great, now we need to make a new Zap. And then search for attach. There it is. Choose a trigger. So there's three triggers that you can set for attach. When a new document is uploaded, when a document has a new visit, and when that visit has been closed. Let's go with new visit uh, first. Then we need to connect our attach account. So where's our API key? You can find API key at the top of your attach account settings page. Let's click there. And here it is. And just so you know, it's under account, account settings. Your API key will always be there. Paste that in here, and great, our Touch account is now connected, and if you want, you can rename this to um, whatever you want. And we can just test it out quickly, and we can see that, yes, that works. So we need to pick a document. Click the down arrow, it'll look through your Touch account and see all the documents that we have there. Let's pick this one, continue. Now we're going to test the trigger to see um, if there's an existing visit. So make sure you have at least one visit to that document and make sure it matches. Uh, so let's fetch and continue. <clears throat> test successful. Uh, and the, here we can just see a quick printout of that visit information. So the person viewed 77%. This is a company name, the document, the version, when that happened, where they were when they did that, how long they spent and a few other details there. Great. Continue. Now we need an action for this trigger. So what do we want to do with this information? For our purposes here, we'll send it into Slack. So let's click Slack. Let's create a direct message to send it to my Slack. If you haven't yet, you need to connect a Slack account. Great, that was easy. To the username of the person in Slack or channel. So I'll send it to myself. What do you want it to have? So let's click here to see all the information that Attach sends to Zapier. So we'll put visitors full name. Name of the document visited. where the visit took place. And we can have things like the URL they visited if we wanted. So let's write this out so it's easy for us in Slack. Visitor name, doc name, location, visitor location. But uh, attach. Great, here it goes. It just created the new zap in Slack with all the information we sent through. Now we finish name is app and attach new visit. And the document is five habits. Turn the zap on. And that's it. Now, anytime someone views that document, we'll get a notification in Slack as soon as they open it. Let's make the second zap. Needs attached already. 
now let's do visit closed. So this will be similar to the other one, but now instead of when they open the document, we'll get a zap when they finish viewing the document. Again, we'll send this through to Slack in the same way. So in this one, we can also send through things like percentage of the document they viewed and how long they spent viewing it because all the information has now been collected after they've viewed the document. And so let's name this uh, doc name, name recognition um, seconds percent viewed. <coughs> let's fill these out. Doc name. This is the name of the document, viewer name, beautiful name, viewer location, Stockholm, Sweden, time spent, here it is, 21 seconds, percent viewed, 77%, and let's just move this above here. And what else do we want? We can have viewers company. there and perhaps URL or the visit link for our reference. Dot name attach. <clears throat> Great. Let's test that one out. And there we go. Here's our new view closed data. So when this person finished viewing the document, this zap will be sent through to Slack. We can see their name, company, which document they viewed, how long they spent viewing it, and the percentage uh, of that document they viewed, and this is the link they viewed. You can also add filters um, that might be interesting to you as well. So the way to do that is here. Click on this one in between Attach and Slack, this plus icon, add a filter. So only continue with, only send the zap if, Maybe let's say if percentage viewed during the visit is greater than 90%. So now the zap will only be sent if this person views more than 90% of the document. Or we can say um, they spent more than one minute in the document. Um, and then we can chain on other different filters for this particular zap. And just to test it, so the, the document, the view that we've had so far only had 77% viewed, which is less than 90, so the zap would not have run, which is correct. But if we went back to this filter and we changed it to 70%, then your zap would have run, given the same test data, because 70, 77 is more than 70, which is perfect. Um, So now let's finish and name that zap. Um, attach visit closed five minutes document. And let's do one last one. Make another zap. Let's just do the simple one. New document. So every time a new document is uploaded to attach, we can send a trigger as well. And this one is fairly straightforward. Again, we'll send it to Slack. Direct message to myself. So we can send through the name of the document, the name of the folder that it's in, the owner, the person who uploaded the document, current version, number of pages in the document, thumbnail, let's do that. Name, folder, owner, ages, uh, thumbnail, 
attach. And there's our test. <clears throat> here it is here. The new document, name of it, folder, owner, number of pages, and the thumbnail, which is here. Great. So attach, new document uploaded. Can we turn that zap on? Great, so now you can see these are the three zaps we set up from uh, from attach to go into Slack as direct messages. Um, of course, you can do a million different other things other than sending into Slack. There's over 700 different apps that Zapier integrates with. Um, so <clears throat> that's up to your imagination.